Well, 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 it is time for another top 16 of the Chalice Slime Monthly. This month brought to you by the letter B. And of course, the letter B stands for my co-commentator, Balde YGO, fresh off of getting absolutely dumpstered in the extravaganza trying to play Plunder Patrol. Blade, how are you doing? Uh, first off, that B stands for Chef Boyardee's Nuts. Got him. That's so uh, funny. Secondar secondarily, uh, I'd like you to call me by my actual name. The uh, Season 2 Chalice Slime, or not Chalice Slime, the Season 2 Quiplash Champion, Blade YGO. That Thank is correct. Listen, Blade, we've had our differences, but I think I can say with full confidence that you outplayed the hell out of us in that game of Quiplash. I've never been so oh, absolutely fair. juiced. Ugh. That, to be fair, that was fucking hilarious. I can't even cap Just what happened that day. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out. But first, check out this one. We've got a stacked top 16 for you. Of these 16 duelists, after seven rounds of Swiss, these decks rose to the top of the post Leov format Chalice Slime Monthly. We've got three Altergeist. Sick of this deck. Stop bringing Altergeist. Three oh, Salamangrate. Unsurprising. This deck has looked really stellar these past couple of days. Two Prank Kid, including Rin PG, Longtime Mod, and First Time CSM Topper. Tri Brigade, Phantom Knight, Ad Emancipator, it's really 2020 out here. Dinosaur, One Miscellaneousaurus, Who? Eldlich! And you're gonna lose it when you see what variant it is. Paleozoic, Virtual World, and... Zodiac. How?! They banned Dryden. <laughs> what? I, I don't understand. Oh. I don't get it. Oh my god. And Sky Striker isn't even there. Neither No Tritron. Sky Striker. No Drytron. Bad decks. Washed up. Imagine trying to resolve spells. Could not be me, chat. Oh my gosh. Our first match is going to be Chaos Lock versus King Magic Ruler. Chaos Lock went undefeated in today's tournament on an Eldlich variant that I'm very excited to show to you. I really don't want to spoil anything because it's very stupid. And King Magic Ruler, of course, uh, was on screen a couple of times. Thank you, Windows, for ruining this recording. Uh, King Magic Ruler was on a couple of times, uh, playing, I believe, uh, Salamangrate. And they're, they're looking, they're looking a little, a little extremely good. Do you have any knowledge of Eldlich? Uh, no, but I, I do have, I may or may not have, uh, thrown enemy controllers in a Salamangrate deck and topped with it. That's, so, that's may really or may not have, uh. Yeah, I may have some salad knowledge because I eat my veggies, but um, Elich, I mean, what can we say? It's Golden Lord Gober. It's been around for over a year now. Mm -hmm. Crazy to mm -hmm. think about, I know. It's actually um, really fun. I'm excited to, to see what variant. It's really funny to me that we uh -huh. still haven't figured out what the best variant of this deck is. <laughs> like, this thing it's has been so around forever. It's freaking annoying. It has been. And then they're just like, oh, I guess we'll play Dryden Mommy. Oh, that's banned. I guess we'll play something else. For God's sake, man. So, uh, uh, to those of you watching on YouTube, please, I want to hear right now, what do you think the Eldritch variant is? Is it Striker? Is it Orcist? Is it Zodiac not playing Dryden? You're about to find out. I'm tabbing you over, and we are going to see in the first of our top 16 match. God damn. You know, I hope it's Orcus Lich, just because last time we uh, got the treat of Orcus Lich, but I I I'm also hoping to see something a little new, see what spice is being cooked. All right. Um, this is <laughs> this is this is an Eldritch deck. That's all I will say. I hope that we get to see it go oh, off no. because oh shit, <laughs> I don't think we will. Feature match oh, curse says no. King Magic Ruler. Wait, that's our salad player. No. Oh, oh my god! Didn't. Whoa. All right. Okay, Blade. I gotta ask. Do they have a chance yeah, yeah. if one of those set cards is enemy controller? <laughs> I get the fuck out of Dodge right now. <laughs> All right, we're going to see uh, uh, Eldlich pitching Sanguine. That's about as good as it gets. It was an infinite impermanence. Uh, pretty sweet Ooh. card. Not in this instance, though. We're going to Eldlich popping the uh, cursed Eldland. No reason to overcommit. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah. bring that bad boy back out. 
see how much we can do here. That imperm hit usually isn't that great against Elich specifically, but depending on the variant, that imperm could have been nice. Obviously, it's gone now, but, uh, you know. So, all right. So, L land's going to send, I guess Conquistador. We'll find out. You there know, let me actually share my screen with you so that you don't have to oh, yeah. a disgusting I, delay. Honestly, I always, uh, at, for all of these things, <laughs> I just watch the Twitch stream. Wait, you're uh, reacting at the same time as chat? But your insights are so much better. How could that be? Chat's so smart. <laughs> oh, shit. Not like this. Oh, all right. Man. Looks like it's just going to be the old set five pass, the Eldritch standard. I mean, you've, uh, you've seen it. You've loved it. It's It's been the best, you know, one of the best decks for the past year. Scarlet Sanguine at end step, Conquistador at end step. Can you beat the set five pass in Salamangrate? And honestly, if any deck can, it probably is Salad. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't call. Oh, he's playing White Destiny, which is interesting, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say uh, Salad's. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> there's some, there's some sauce in this list. Oh, is this Zombie Lich? It is not. It is not Zombie oh Lich. I understand God. why you thought that, though. Like, oh, Golden Land Forever, you could send, like, a Baylor Drock. Yeah, 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 no big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it is not. Pure oh. Lich, also not. It is wow. playing a supplementary engine, chat. You're not going to get it. You're Once you hear it, you're going to go, oh, my God, how did I not get it? But you're not going to get it until then. Oh, my God. Magic Ruler just scoops says this oh, is the worst man. five card hand i can possibly have all right uh time to uh fire off that prediction if i know one thing about chat it's that they love to gamble and speaking of gambling they're about to get a sick payout on that uh prank kid uh payoff last time all right who's winning is it going to be eldlich the mystery eldlich deck or is it going to be salamangrate the most represented deck in top cut Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask you in chat, Joseph. So uh, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think Salad Striker is going to be relevant this meta? So I think that Striker is going to be relevant. I think that probably the first mm -hmm. week we're going to see, like, Ryan Yu show up with it and win a tournament because they're really good. Uh, but yeah. I think it'll nestle into a position as, like, a good supplemental engine for a deck like Outlitch, right? I think that yeah. Salad's just busted. I think Salad is, like, tier two from this position easily. Yeah, honestly, I do, like, I, a lot of people were hyped about Engage, but I really think that Salio is the more relevant uh, card to come back, to be honest. And, El like, um, a lot of Salamangrate being less powerful had a lot less to do with the cards being not good, and a lot more to do with the fact that people were bored of them. People just voluntarily yeah. got off Salamangrate, despite the fact that it was a really competent rogue pick. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Salad ever got, like, bad like the last time we really saw in the meta was um i think like before secret slayers came out yeah. oh, um man, but now sucks. like especially oh god all right we're gonna see the combo the the classic salad i, I love to love to chain block the buffalo so cool i love that it could do this oh it's so cool yeah uh good morning buffalo effect ash <laughs> uh i'm also using bail links Oh, man. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we're going to see Bailings resolve, and then we're going to see Buffer Low pitch, probably a level Ooh, Ooh, Falco. Pitch that's Falco. a sick one. All so, right. And if uh, Magic Ruler is a good salad duelist, he'll reveal Gazelle right now. Yeah. No, sorry. Not good enough. Uh, damn. Can't believe you made top 16. Yeah, really, really upset. <laughs> no but um yeah we're gonna see all right so it looks like magic ruler he did draw a buffer low but not the not the greatest position here because yeah. he didn't get to fully pop off i'm actually we we never really got a chance to see how this wow exceed to that's pretty dope oh we never really got a chance to see how this plays out in reality because, you know, it was always theory crafted how Eldritch and uh, Salaman Great would interact with each other. But the only time they were really yeah. in the meta together in any sort of like big capacity, Eldritch was this bullshit synchro high roll nonsense, right? And Salaman yeah. Great, of course, can't keep up with that. Um, once that's removed from the equation, both decks have a near infinite grind game 
uh, they don't have very powerful turn one setups. Uh, you really do have to play like a long game of Yu-Gi-Oh to figure out who's going to win. So I, I don't know. I'd be interested to see what happens. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, well, Reflasia is getting summons, um, which is interesting. They're, uh, I don't know why not Abyss Dweller here. It feels like that's probably the best. Yeah. Speaking of Dweller, to respond to what you were saying, I, I actually think Dweller, like, I think Salad, if we're talking right now, I honestly, depending on the Elich's supplementary engine, I think Salad is really well positioned. I mean, they have the insane grind game, and then they can consistently make Dweller. Oh, you um, want... Which is... You're saying Salad is a counter to Eldritch or Salad is a supplement to Eldritch? No, Salad is a counter to Eldritch. Oh, okay. All right. I was like, yo, can I play Salad Eldritch? You got it, buddy. Oh, my God. There's got to be a way, right? Yeah. Activate uh, Grab Sanctuary Eldritch Send. Oh, goddamn. All right. That is a start. Uh, nice. Uh... Oh, nice Rage Roar. Nice my Rage goodness. Roar. Uh, there is the kaiju and uh, the follow-up uh, harpy's feather duster. <laughs> you Heck know, wait. if you have it, you have it. It, it was rage, rage. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, sometimes you're just you uh, know? better than your opponent. Please, can we actually see the combo? Please, just play the combo. Nope, we're just summoning our Kadarla. own Kadarla. We could go to battle, okay. attack into the Rathlesia, and then combo. Come on, let's see it, buddy. I uh, please Come let on, me show you. Come on, you got this, this chaos block. I mean, hmm. Yeah, this is obviously like, especially depending on what uh, Chaos Lock's second, like or like secondary engine is. Uh, this could be really good for Come him on, if he can. You like, have your normal. Off. Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> It's Synchro Lich. It is Synchro Lich. 2020 never ended, baby. We're still out here oh summoning Rhydy Driver. Holy shit. He drew the wrong oh. one. <laughs> Please don't have a hand trap magic ruler. Oh I mean, I know god. if you don't have a hand trap, you may get destroyed. But like, <laughs> oh my god, it resolves. Okay, so this is kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to take all the credit. But uh, one of the early, uh, my early contributions to uh, 2020 competitive Yu-Gi-Oh was uh, labbing out the Aurorodon combo list and then like looking at it and being like, I bet I could shave down all these Garnets and just play this shit in Eldritch. And that's what this person is doing. They're playing the old Aurorodon combo that like I came up with rather than the new one because it is still available after the big wave of hits. And uh, we're just going to wow. see the setup here, buddy. Phone on Pulse Dragon coming down. <laughs> Oh my god, this is hilarious. And, uh, man, I mean, it's not like, uh, Aurorodon combos are, like, bad. They just got in a lot less resilient. Okay, so, um, this is a little crusty. Uh, you're actually... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're actually not able to special summon unless you use... If you use the Phonon Pulse Dragon effect. But if you just summon it that's okay <laughs> so uh you just summon it as a four then you go for the cult wing into the token into the token into the zero zero one shooting go into riser. shooting riser here uh this is an incredibly mm -hmm. powerful card uh lends lets you send a monster from your deck to the graveyard uh so sending a deep sea diva here just to get uh garbage that makes uh halka fibrax out of the deck i believe and then it becomes a f a level lower than that so it's a five now so from here, we can go mm. into a Borload Savage. The Savage is going to be able to equip from the Graveyard a copy of uh, Halka Fibrax. And then if we want, we can also make an 8 with the Shooting Riser and the Token. And I hope that that means they're going for Chaos Ruler, like Magical Dragon. That would be a sick way to go into the Eldritch line. Yep, there he is. This is just so I... fucking cool. I love this deck so much. This is so cool. Bad, bad. Holy smoke. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, that's a good one, buddy. <laughs> Oh, oh man, we took that. We take those scarlets, no cap. Uh, so we're gonna definitely and, get uh the scarlet sanguine yeah. here. Unfortunately, Eldland has to be sent from the uh spell and trap zone to the graveyard, so we're gonna have to pass here. But um, we've got the Eldritch line technically started from a hand that was very bricky. Otherwise, we've got a big ass negate or a curable boss, and you actually have to kill the Aurorodon too because it has really good effects yeah. if you allow it to stay on the field. I was almost going to be tempted to say he could uh, Aurorodon pop his own set mm -hmm. to uh, get Scarlet quicker, but I think <laughs> I like this play more. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, 
it's definitely really cool. And especially like in this game state, I mean, Chaos Lock opened horribly, it seemed like. Yeah. And yet, uh, I was so they excited to see everything able. go to the grave, but this seems actually pretty low roll. It was just the Scarlet Sanguine. You were obviously hoping for yeah. like Conquistadors, Hakeros, even Eldliches. You can send the uh, Halka Fibrax to the grave to summon it. Yeah. And he didn't hit like any light hand traps or darks, which mm -hmm. I don't know if he plays any, but uh, that could have also been there, which. Yeah, that seemed like a pretty bad Chaos Ruler. But I mean, at least he got one Eldritch card. But I'm interested to see where Magic Ruler takes this. I mean, his hand was, like, again, not that great. Right. This, Even I mean, with, this like, was a, a crusty board. It, it had two Kaiju in it, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, and especially, I mean, that, uh, that Will is putting in work right now. Oh, but we're gonna see Falco use its effect here to uh, set back Rage, assumably. Yeah. So this is what uh, WC King Magic Ruler has been doing all tournament. Like, yes, you want to get the uh, the Sunlight Wolf lock established, where like every turn you're making Wolf, and then you're using it to uh, set up a really powerful trap card. Failing that, you can use Falco to do pretty much the same thing, unless your opponent has a Skullmeister in their grip. Jesus Christ. Oh my God! Wow. Okay. Well, that's definitely relevant here um now it's not even just the savage you have to Oof. deal with oh and this savage oh you, it's I gonna mean, be so good here. this right i feel like you have to right if uh he draws a salmon grape like assumably if you blind desires like that you probably just don't have another salad especially since none have been revealed anyways yeah so, uh depends on what's in the hand too like if it's uh a hand like a, a nibiru or something maybe you don't Ugh, even that's a big, yeah big if yeah this is a. I i mean maybe chaos lock has an ash but i feel like he'd slap it down at this point point. Yeah, we are gonna go for the okay here. yeah he's gonna go for uh savage saw some hesitation so... there i was wondering if if there was a forbidden drop to follow it up yeah no i i don't know why it took Ooh, mining Ooh. but Ooh, had to hold the God. mining until the Borload savage was gone because it could have banished the gazelle that's such a high risk yeah. if the gazelle is in this 11 cards that's like probably the end of the game but nope you never banish <gasps> gazelle never banish gazelle it, it just never, never ends up in the pile you know what chat if uh just so everyone knows you're never gonna get punished yeah, never exactly. punished Oh, all right. So, right, so we're gonna re the uh, the point. bay links, and then we can trigger the gazelle in the hand. Uh, we'll summon the gazelle. Let's see how far we can get on this. Now, even if we can clear the board, we're gonna have to deal with chaos ruler next turn. We're gonna have to deal with uh, eldlich the turn after that. And from that position, you are actually just playing against a deck that has been tier one for a significant amount of time. So you've got to either yeah. figure out a way right now to kill with an access code talker, or You've got to be prepared over the next couple of turns to outgrind a deck that is known for grinding. So, and I think the, yeah, this is going to start getting into a huge grind. I mean, Elich has clearly been the most grindy deck of, like, ever since it came out. Um, we're also, he's also going to have to deal with Chaos Ruler. Check out the graveyard here uh, to see if we can go for an access code OTK. I think we probably can, but, uh, yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, especially if uh, that last card in hand is actually a nib, he could get super punished right now for this play. I mean, it'd be the end of the um, game for sure. Yeah. Oh, but he's going... Oh. Yeah, so here's Splash Mage. Uh, this is what King Magic Ruler has been doing, you know, all week, or all uh, right. Sunday. Just a lot of um, Splash Mage combos from Spinny all the way into Access Code. Uh, from here, yeah. we can go into Update Jammer. Um, from here, we can go into Transcode Talker. You know, we can pretty much do whatever we want from this position. The, the question is if we're going to be able to get the requisite three types in Graveyard, uh, and then it has to be made with Update Jammer, and you also have to be able to uh, stop the Conk as a blocker, because if the Conk is allowed to block, you probably win on the Crackback. Oh, but Magic Ruler saying slight misplay, and I Ooh, think I, I see what it is. Him. That Godarla is in the perfect stone to stop update jammer here. Oh, that's silly. Oh, that's so silly. God, and uh, he could have he could have prevented that if he went 
ba- under bailing, see someone uh, update jammer right there. Yeah. Before making splash mage. Wow. Okay. That's <laughs> actually like setup. <laughs> oh no, that is actually so relevant. I feel like there's had to have been a way for uh magic ruler to OTK there. I think we might still see Potentially. it. Potentially. Uh, so we might still see code. it, yeah. This is access code for three. Um we've got an earth, a fire, and a water. Uh we need one more typing though. And you know that other typing would be the update jammer wind, but yeah. Go! Oh, oh my God! Wait, that's that does it. Wait, that does it. Oh, well, it doesn't do it because that's we haven't made it with update jammer. But no, 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 no that's it is. Exactly that does it. AK. That's so oh my funny. God. Holy shit! Lingarivo, for those of you who don't know, negates trap effects. So if we try to summon the uh, conquistador as a blocker, we'll just negate it with Lingarivo, and then the fifty-seven and or the fifty-three and the twenty-seven is exactly eight K wow <laughs> oh god man magic ruler coming through all right let's see wow. the fucking nibiru <laughs> it's like all that just <laughs> imagine oh, my, oh god. my god wow okay so salad showing if it can play it's it's looking really good yeah oh um, wow and straight fire if this had been you know something as simple as a uh gam cl it would have been a completely different game maybe um, but playing the Gadarla to get around the Wind Barrier statue has cost Chaos Lock Game 2, and folks, I guess we are getting a Game 3 out of this. This this has been a sick set, wow. not gonna lie. That first game yeah. was really crappy, and I was like, oh, please don't end in two minutes, and uh, we got our wish. Oh, thank God. I'm glad we got to see the Elledge variant as well. That was insane. <laughs> All right, we have one result so far. It looks like Femboy Yu-Gi-Oh! also piloting Salaman Great has made it into top eight. Holy guacamole. Femboy Yu-Gi-Oh! has won a Chalice Slime Invitational as well. Uh, and uh, I guess is going for the the second. Dang. Yeah, if... Uh, I mean, man, that'd be crazy. Have we had any two-time champions? We've had a couple. Um, I think... I'd have to go back. We haven't ever had a, a two-time Chalice Slime Monthly. We've had a couple two-time uh, quarantine series. I think okay. Rycape might have won two. Uh, uh-huh. uh, Sampai won two, for sure. Uh, and I think Jason uh, Leonard uh, might have won two. Or maybe I'm thinking mm-hmm. of the Leonards collectively. I think, yeah, Jeff Leonard won one. Okay. Yeah, that... <laughs> The I see. So I mean, hey, another one uh, could potentially be in the books for uh, another two-time winner. You know, and especially uh, like now with the name change, it's uh, uh, oof. it could be a cha- two-time Chalice Slime champion rather exactly. than uh, quarantine. This is rough. So um, we're gonna. The yeah, set three is not where you want to like be it. for like combo Eldlich, but at the same time, maybe it is. What made uh, Synchro Eldlich so hard to play against was uh, you lost if they got to their combo. So you had to yeah. board like Nibiru and like all these terrible cards, like Infinite Impermanence to stop the Halka Fibrax. But at the end of the day, if your opponent just drew traps and Eldlich, they would win because half your hand is dead. So uh, boarding against this thing is a disaster. Ugh, they did find a spinny off that. Um, and in game three, you know any of the cards they set are either going to be exactly stuff that finds Eldritch or just absolutely stellar floodgates, answers to your specific strategy. I'm interested to see what uh, what Chaos Lock came up with out of the board. Yeah, definitely. Um, especially, like, now with the combo being a lot more or a lot less resilient for Synchro Eldritch, I definitely think that it's in. Like, it's important to potentially side Floodgates, so maybe a Summon Limit, that may be stretching it, but just, like, a Floodgate to uh, slow down combo if you can't resolve your full combo right. could be really relevant here. Um, But yeah, no, I definitely think that... Uh, I definitely think this is going to be interesting. Like, Salad is looking really good right now, really good position. They're going to have uh their full setup going here we're gonna see a huacero be activated so assumably we're gonna see the scarlet come down oh but we're gonna chain cosmic cyclone that is real that is really good in this case 
Um, and this is the nice thing about Salomon Great now. Now you have access to Gazelle from your extra deck. Um, whereas before you couldn't like actually get access to Gazelle without hard drawing it. Yeah, it's got to be Conk this exact second or we are going to have a problem. Yeah. And, I mean, we got to assume one of the sets is Scarlet. So if the other is a Conk... It doesn't seem like it, though. Unless Chaos Lock is thinking. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah. it really is a uh, conk. Okay. Show me the second cosmic. Holy Oh my shit. god, you called it. Not that is like so this. painful. Wow, that's rough. And oh. that's got to just spell the end of the game, right? Could I mean, there could be a maybe get to it? Ooh, no, yeah. Nothing. I guess like a hand. Oh, god. Okay. And this is where, chat, Gazelle and Mirage Stallio and just all the salad pieces start to overwhelm. Mm -hmm. um, a good point of reference is, like, I don't think Striker has a favorable salad matchup because you can put so many resources into the grave, it's really hard to deal with all of them. Mm -hmm. And a similar thing can be said about Elich, but at a slower pace, I guess I would say. Mm -hmm. Um I think Salad is just so well positioned right now in the meta. It's got a uh, dweller for Drytron. Uh, it just has so many resources in the grind. Um, it's just so good. And it certainly didn't help um, things that it has this like uh, eight or nine copies of this one card access code talker that it can just deploy at any given time that attacks for 10 6. It's just killer. Oh, no, agreed. That part is also for like a mid range deck, Salad is just so good especially like you said with the access code uh otk i think that is so crazy that salad has access to that now yeah I'll check um, it out, and it's so easy to pull off it's way easier than a boral sword otk ever was well we might see um, it here yeah yeah um i don't think we'll see it this game just because they or this turn since they uh use stallio already but oh god, because Stallio fire locks you. I forgot that this yeah, deck yeah, yeah. has like a balancing tool. Yeah, thank god. <laughs> Imagine you could summon an Apollosa and, and have its effects uh be utilized. Um now what's interesting here is if Magic Ruler goes for Linger Evo, Chaos Lock is just like fucked. Yeah. Um so there's gotta we gotta see a Scarlet sanguine come down now if he has it all right and instead down comes the heat leo uh this is kind of a weird one you know it does shuffle which is sick but we have pretty good knowledge that it's scarlet sanguine so it's less exciting yeah tell me there's an ash blossom too tell me you burned those cosmics for nothing you just had ash the entire time and could have blanked them gosh there is no way man i do oh my god magic ruler you are crazy man you're cracked you're no cracked way. buddy you're cracked yup yep. easiest ash of my life oh my cosmic god. cosmic I... ash nice set three. Oh my god so personally i feel like you could have just made linger Ebo, right and then that would have been fine yeah. but i i mean hey if you got the ash you got the ash all right, we'll set one. We're way beyond Nibiru, but uh, I don't think that matters. Yeah. Right, so what could the two cards in hand be? I thought they would be like hand traps or something. I guess technically one yeah. could be an Eldlich. That would be pretty good because you can go for the set card and then banish the Scarlet Sanguine to like get the rotation going. Uh, but we'll see. I feel like it has to be a Lord. Okay, a we figured oh! it out. Okay, yeah, we figured it <laughs> <laughs> uh this doesn't do what okay. you want buddy uh after they already have the gazelle uh kaijuing their salamangrate it is a recipe for disaster actually oh wait mm. see the one way i can see chaos lock making a comeback now is if that card is what we're thinking and it's a golden lord you can go lord send gazelle and pro oh never mind okay uh is it a is it a rage? It has to be, right? It, it, okay, so Magic Ruler's thinking. Is that a second Ash in hand? No. No. It'd it's be not. Rage okay. or Resolution anyway. So you play Diva to summon Diva because this makes uh this makes Halkify Brax, but we'll see.
Oh my okay, god. So it is Ray. God, that's Picking Tinny. Wow. Oh, uh, that is killer. All right. Uh we would need something crazy to make it out of this. Yeah. Uh Scarlet Sanguine can go get a conquistador or something. Wow, in three turns we're gonna have an Eldlich. Jesus. Oh. Spinny Falco and Grave. This feels like the end of the game. And I guess this just goes to show how like, I mean, both players are at such a slow, like, low amount of cards, but Magic Ruler's engine is just a lot quicker. Like, And that is super relevant here. And you're about to see, like, we... Salamangrate, you know, obviously can end its turn on one card in hand frequently and one card on field, but the plays from the graveyard are just unreal. 100%. Dweller's, like, so good against Salamangrate. And you saw, like, if you played in 2019, you felt the effects of Dweller yep. because it stopped Orcus, it stopped uh, Salad, it uh, could hurt Danger Thunder. Um, it was so good. Wow. But uh yeah, now we're going to see Gazelle spl oh and this is just uh I think this is just the end of the game. I believe so. I believe it is. There has to be like a nib in hand to stop this, I think. But uh yeah. Sheesh. Uh I have another result for you. Uh, Artemis has beaten Mimas. Artemis on pure Tri Brigade and Mimas on Geist. So Geist Supremacy suffers a fatal blow. Dang. Oh, man. Well, at least we got to see Chaos Law combo uh, for one game. Yeah, but it Unfortunately, didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that was the one game he lost. <laughs> All right, we know what the set oh, card is. It's not enough. Uh, we're going to go update yeah. Jammer, access code talker. That's uh, way more than enough. We can clean up that back row here. Yeah. And, uh, oh, man. Sally is just looking so good right now. It's crazy. It is. I mean, Eldlich, even when Eldlich had, like, Zodiac or whatever, it would have hands like this pretty frequently where, like, you were kind of resting on the game to be slow and you getting uh, to play Eldlich or uh, you were resting on drawing Zoo only and being able to outgrind your opponent over the long term. Salad will take exactly. advantage of a stumbled turn like almost nothing else, especially with access code talker. Agreed. It's so resilient. It's so, uh, it's such a fast paced mid range deck. Wow. Um, it's, it's just so good. That was, that was incredible. Um, congratulations to, uh, King Magic Ruler, who will be joining Femboy Yu Gi Oh, another Salaman grade pilot in our top eight. And, uh, big Sag for Chaos Lock, who went undefeated over seven rounds and unfortunately, oh, wow. uh, was destroyed just now. Yeah, but you know what? Like you said, congrats, Chaos Lock. You did a good job. You made us Synchro Outlitch players proud. All, like, one of us <laughs> being you. And, uh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT. And guess what? It's time for the top eight of the Chalice Line Monthly June 2021 edition. I am joined, as ever, by the one, the only, Blade Yu-Gi-Oh! Balde, how are you doing today? I am doing good, Mr. M. Baldy. Uh, so we're back. We're better than ever. More bald than usual. Uh, it's time for another great match. Heck Hopefully, yeah. At least. Absolutely. I'm super excited to be giving you this one. Chat, you voted for Dinosaur versus PK, and I'm happy to report PK or Prang Kid will be our feature match if I click the right button here. There we go. Man, so what I'm hearing is we're going to see Misk at one. Yeah. Man. So uh, Misk at one is interesting. Um, it means that oftentimes you're going to be using Misk as part of your setup combo, but it's not going to be available as a hand trap to prevent your opponent from like interacting with your stuff on turns two and above. And your deck is way less repeatable than it's been in the past. However... 
the normal turn one setup for dinosaur is often enough to just win the game whether you're on the play or the draw uh the setups being adaptable the ceilings being much higher after the inclusion of scrap raptor into builds means that uh this is not a deck that you should count out um people who were like oh misc to one i guess that dinosaur is dead they're stupid they don't know what they're talking about and most of them are on reddit.com yeah no i've uh I definitely heard Scrap Raptor is still a really strong Yu-Gi-Oh card. I mean, like, obviously Misk at one is going to hurt. It means that you don't have as many copies of Misk. And, oh, we're going to see Droll, though. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, um, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, well, at the very minimum, uh, we're, Scrap Chimera is still going to resolve. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Dino is definitely still playable. Mm -hmm. It's just, it sucks at one. I think it's more so a, like, grind game hit rather than yeah. uh, oh! anything else. <laughs> oh! wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Is this a Bistweller pass? You asshole. Oh, oh my God, dude. <laughs> All right. And I mean... With the knowledge that uh, their opponent is on Prey Kid, they just made a Bistweller pass. So they were like, what the hell are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my not like this oh god i mean to be fair I, dweller pass may actually is that it's like a FTK. like a legit i feel i mean it is against like a prank hits with the he, why is he summoning a prank kid here yeah i mean oh cool uh you want to activate drop holy shit into instant fusion oh. We all got debated, chat. All right, that's why you did that. Holy smoke. All right, Weather Washer is like a guy, I guess. Wow. Oh, the one, how does a uh, prank, how did Goki play through Dweller? Soul Charge. How does a uh, prank kid play through Dweller? Uh, Soul Charge. Uh, so this yeah, isn't even yeah. Soul Charge. We're just using it to get to Doodle Doo. We're going to trigger Doodle Doo yeah. in order to get some cards, and then we're going to attack into the Abyss Dweller. Oh, actually, none of that's going to happen. We're just going to lose. We're going to... Oh. All right, well... <laughs> at the very least, the Dweller's off board for Prime yeah, Kid. Yeah, yeah. This was a valiant but... effort. <laughs> You could, like, oh, doodle doe to get back the, the prank hit and, like, maybe one of the other cards as well. And then maybe you can use the fusion spell to get them into your hand later. But, like, nah, this is this is just not good enough. <laughs> it's got to be exactly uh, the fusion spell and then green, red, blue. What do, what do you think the chances of that are? <laughs> I was hoping he just set one and we're like, oh, shit! No, but, um, yeah, well... Apparently it's none since uh they're gonna set two here, but oh that's a good draw. Uh, who who needs to hard draw Misk when you could hard draw three more copies of Misk? Yeah, this is the other thing. Like even if Misk is at one, it's actually at seven because <laughs> you've got over Yeah. There. You've got Fossil Dig, you've got Miscellaneous Horse. Called by the Misk. Whoa, that's pretty killer. That is really good. That's interesting. Um, they elected not to use the called by on the negation of the doodle doe effect. They they had bigger plans for it. If that's the fusion yeah. spell and it's two prank kids in hand, they probably actually do win the game from this position. Set one pass. Here we go. Oh god. Not like this. Dino, we were re Oh, and that's there's a good the one. known drop these. All right, it's oh, got to be like man. an ash blossom in hand. That would be pretty good. We don't have like the chain blocking material yet. Nope, doesn't look like it. We're going to get another prank hit and maybe lose the game. Yeah, and I guess that's the other thing about Miss going to one. There is, I mean, to be fair, I mean, this didn't look good for, uh, it seemed like Crazy Wiz that just didn't draw that well. Yeah. Uh, he probably top decked Fossil Dig considering he didn't use it turn one. We, I mean, um, we know that there is uh, a baby in the hand, probably, because if we're misking in that position, we're probably banishing it for Animadorned, and then, like, yeah. the baby turns on our entire hand. So if the hand is not hand traps, but babies, I, we're quite literally dead here. Yeah, and that's got, I, I actually think you're right. That's probably just a baby Sarasaurus set um, mm -hmm. with, like, no actual cards in hand. Unless I bet, I bet it's trapped. a hand trap. I bet it's a hand trap yeah. and the, uh, the baby's in hand. We haven't seen Ash yet, which is kind of surprising. Maybe there's a bell in hand. Oh, no, it is Petite. Oh. Holy shit, never mind. And as as you predicted, or I guess as I predicted, yeah, as predicted. Uh, the, 
the set monster is indeed a baby gosh darn it's like the worst baby so we're gonna see Mm, we're gonna see doodle here and it does resolve all right this is looking worse and worse for uh our dino lab we've got the fusion spell we've got all three colors we have to play through battle butler without miscellaneousaurus this um this is uh this is over yeah it looks just about it. I mean, how much worse can it get? They have like Tikaboo set or something. That's a Tikaboo. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna see local boomer extend further. Um, you know, I don't know if he needed. To... I mean, I guess that was it funny. Really just just matter. activated the uh, lampsies for nothing. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is yeah there there nothing more needs to be done here folks whoa i don't those are some interesting shuffles oh we are we have doubles of blue and red okay sure all right okay. dinosaur you gotta pull i i can't even think of what it would have to be twin twister fire there's gotta be standby. like arcosaur off the top maybe yeah Okay. The North baby beat down, baby. I actually don't know if that's what he's doing. Um, Got nothing, but... says Crazy Wizza. And uh, Ooh. that is going to be the end of game one, I imagine, unless they want to play it out. There's no time in Top Cut, so no reason to not like hope their opponent screws it up. But Yeah. I would be shocked if they did. Yeah, that's just... Oh, my God. this This just seems... <laughs> the baby beat down or baby beat down folks end of main go for the fusion spell uh, it wasn't even three we're just oh, going for weather washer <laughs> oh damn i was gonna say the only world where boomer loses if he's some for some reason uh fires uses... butler <laughs> butler fires butler on the baby <laughs> yes ideal oh, oh man all right, Bow Wow Bark and uh, Doodle Doe. We're going to take 1,000 million damage and summon 5,700 worth of monsters. Yeah. And all it takes is one uh, kid to do all this. Yep. One literal child. Mm, okay. All right. Summon Pink. That's something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's uh that's yeah i don't, I don't know you it's, can't even uh, pop your own monster with pank sag yeah imagine that would i mean i don't think it matters in this game state but that would be crazy if you could mm -hmm. uh yeah all right crazy so go wizard doodle -doo here yeah, we're gonna go. What's you, what are you targeting? Pandemonium fancies. Okay. And what we could make access code here, even unicorn targeting the uh, the, the pancreas tops in order to get it out early. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is just access code OTK in that case. Mm -hmm. We're going to target the unicorn. Goes to the grave. Gee, do you think this deck can make three material? Oh, not even going for the uh, access code, just going for the pandemonium here. Huh. Yeah, I guess maybe <laughs> Boomer can't. Actually, no, I think they can, yeah. Yeah, they probably. There's got to be a way to OTK in this game state. Mm -hmm. So, Place um, is going to decrease the attack. We'll summon two from deck. And uh, then we can just, I don't know, make a Link monster. Yeah, I mean, what? We're summoning Rocket Ride, reviving two, and then, huh. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I guess Boomer, out of all people, would know if there's a way to OTK this turn. So I guess we'll find out, but... Uh, We're pretty close yeah, already. No yeah oh yeah wiz is at 67 as well that that actually seems relevant 
mm-hmm. for this turn at least. But like, I mean, in general, doesn't matter. No, but you know, it, it makes the game quicker, I guess. There's bow web arc. There's place to decrease. This and, is okay. Now that's lethal. 65, 75. All right. There we go. Nibiru or bust. Yeah, Nibiru or bust. But I mean, what's crazy is even if Boomer gets nibbed, uh, we're just gonna see uh, uh, like pranks during the end phase get a draw. So there's still gonna be a ton of resources for Boomer. Well, a pretty painful brick, but uh, hopefully they'll be able to bring it back in games two and three. If any deck can do it, it's gonna be Dino. But I think we really saw that game. Um, people described Scrap Raptor as like Over Raptors number two and three, uh, or number uh, four, five, and six. But it's not that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it it facilitates some pretty sick combos, but it doesn't start your plays the same way something like an Over Raptor does. And if it takes you a lot of turns to get to that Over Raptor, even through a Scrap Raptor, you know, um, you end up in bad positions like this one. Yeah, agreed. Like what we're what we. What we uh, just saw there was, like you're saying, I mean, it really just is not uh, Ovi. Ovi gets you access to your dinosaur engine, whereas Scrap Raptor can get access to either a machine engine or a scrap engine only. Mm -hmm. Um, And there's a big difference when you're playing dinosaur. So, Um, yeah, no, I definitely agree. I think... uh, it's not the worst uh, normal summon by any means, but definitely not the best. Mm-hmm. Um, like, don't get me going wrong. Into Scrap the... Raptor is very powerful, but it was hyped yeah. to be like the the final ultimate thing, and it's been okay. Exactly. I don't think it's found like the right home yet. I think yeah. at some point the card will just be really good. But the inherent problem with it is, like. Specifically, dinosaurs were a really good mix with it because you had Misk um, to Speaking make of. your card unaffected. Speaking of, yeah, here's uh, we're activating Misk, baby. Oh man! All right, show me um, the Ash Blossom. Oh my God, Ash Normal Summon OV. Let me the crow? We got this with a. Ooh! Oh snap! Nope. I. I can't tell if it's going to... It is resolving? All right. So let's see how far we can go. We're going to go for Animadorned Archosaur. We're going to pop this Baby Sarasaurus. We're going to give ourselves a copy of Double Evolution Pill. We'll fire off the Baby Sarasaurus. This is a sick ash, but nothing here. We'll go get ourselves a Soul Eating Overaptor. We'll trigger the Overaptor. Uh, I wonder what we get here. We already have the Misk in rotation. Uh, Maybe like a Giant Rex to Grave. Scrap Raptor. Maybe a Giant Rex. I guess Raptor also works. Um, oh, we haven't used our normal. Oh my god, I keep yeah. forgetting. This deck gets to this position without its normal, so you can just get a baby, normal the baby, use over after target the baby, bring back the other baby. There's a scrap raptor on your side of the field. Scrap raptor, target the baby. Go get yourself a chimera. Go into fours. Win the game. I mean, if uh, if Boomer doesn't have anything here, that's like honestly, I mean, dinosaurs is starting to become more and more like pendulum. Yeah. back when electromite was still legal where uh-huh. you just nut your hand onto the board and if your opponent can't break it they just lose uh-huh. um and in this case i mean i'd be surprised personally if boomers playing like dark ruler um but maybe droplets could help if the full board gets established but otherwise i mean i think that's about all she wrote so Scrap Wyvern's a weird card. You use it to summon the Scrap Raptor, then pop the Scrap Raptor, then trigger the Scrap Wyvern and the Scrap Raptor. Uh, but you have to do it in a very particular way, or else you're going to accidentally run out of targets. Uh, the Chimera to hand, yeah, and the Scrap Wyvern summons a second Raptor from deck. Um, um, All right, yeah, I guess. You can uh, normal the Chimera, bring back a Raptor, and then you've got like 15 fours. Yeah. No, I, I'm pretty sure that's just the route, right? I mean, yeah. the coolest thing about Dino is that... Uh, Whoa! Like, at least the calm the build. fuck down. What is G- oh Gallant God. Granite getting? What? what on earth? Is he searching Nib? What was that? Keystone? Keystone? <laughs> and local boomer echoing my thoughts exactly. Excuse me? 
you're excused. Nemesis Keystone to bring back Miscellaneousaurus. Holy shit, that's so funny. Wait, that's adorable. That can't oh be the play. Oh my god. And it doesn't even really screw anything up here, right? We could go Wyvern Granite uh, Keystone into Apollosa and then still make two fours by using the uh, the pill to banish the giant Rex at the end of this. That is kind of cool, not going to lie. That is actually just insane uh it also explains why they fucking bricked game one because they were playing bad shit like this yeah i mean like yeah he's on, like... <laughs> sorry excuse me <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> fucking excuse me I was like, wow, real misplay there. They didn't leave the four on field and uh, use the keystone as link material. Oh, no, actually, it was a misplay from me because this asshole is on Nachuria Beast. Wow, this is uh, this is stupid. It's also all off of one Miscellaneousaurus into Arcasaur. Like, nothing else was used here. So we get to go into fucking Lagia here. We go Tirano, Apollosa, Lagia, Nachuria Beast... That's pretty poggers. Oh, don't. Oh, thank God. It's Savage Dragon. Okay. Also, so stupid you, that this deck gets to play fucking Savage Dragon. Not okay. You know what the silliest thing about this end board is? Mm -hmm. Keystone goes back to hand during end phase. What? No. <laughs> it was banished off no, of uh, this is double so evolution cool. pill. This is so fucking cool. Oh my God. All right, we have we have actually accidentally ended up in the most based match of all time. I mean, how the fuck does oh Prank it beat this? We've got three monster negates. We have infinite spell negates. The whole deck is fucking MBT spells. Has a nice bussy. It has to be Dark Ruler exactly. Namers, thank you for the subscription. Oh, that's a nice one too. That's a good one. I mean, here's uh here's my thoughts. Uh, imagine a uh, an entire board of dragons, dinosaurs, literal gods. Versus one prank kid. Yeah. Uh, looks like ending main phase here, which prompts the Tyranno. And then they're going to chain the pank targeting something. And you have to burn an Opelousa on this. That's like yeah, frustrating yeah. if you're uh, the dinosaur player. But also what you have to do. Uh, the Pankratops can't be allowed to eat the Apollosa and like the Nachuria Beast. Like if, if, the, if they get to battle phase, they get to go pank over the Apollosa. Um, and then like pop something which prompts the savage dragon which is just disastrous uh but yeah, as is um, you know you get to keep the beast so you can go into cherry beast whoops nice prank kids place you know you know what the zen board loses to joseph has a nice what? bussy double evenly matched it does lose ah, to double ah, evenly matched ah, you are correct uh nomerous oh, and man. uh helpful yak thank you for the subscriptions Man, this is such a good end board. Holy smokes. It is an end board, yes. Gonna win by deck out, bet. <laughs> a bet. Alright, we can use an Apollosa right. here for sure. Oh man, easiest Apo of my life. Oh, you can't even get to like the chain blocks because it's all bullshit like the field spell that's never going to stick under the fucking Nat Beast. You can't use pranks. You can't <laughs> use the fusion spell. This is actually insanely based. You know, MBT the funny nice thing about, uh, about that sequence, if, uh, if Boomer was an intellectual and normal summon Bufferlo, it would play around Apollosa. Shut up. Shmo. Uh, Funky <laughs> Pink, thank you for the subscription. And uh, let's see how our doubters are looking. It looks like it's 60 40 for Prank Kid. All right, do you think Prank Kid can take this dinosaur build? This like stupid ass fucking Keystone Pipeline looking ass dinosaur build? Uh, I mean, look, thank God Boomer won game one. Uh, because otherwise, I mean, he'd just be screwed game three oh, unless yeah, like no. i guess a hand trap could do it but uh you know I, this is the only way boomer can win right now i keep in mind um, this first game was uh mbt has a nice bus was uh crazy wizard going garbage into uh you know abyss dweller pass 
The ceiling yeah. is a little higher for this game three for sure. Super Mayo Bros, thank you for the subscription. Oh, never mind. Dan the Man Hoban, thank you for five most, gifted what? tier one subs. And uh, Hunky Pink, thank you for the subscription as well. If you didn't get any of these subscriptions, you got to type dodged. Goddamn. Let's go, Dan the Man Hoban. MET has a nice bus. Um, well, I mean, okay. any good, uh, We're any there. good prank it. Yeah, any good prank kid player starts with plays. Oh, huh. Okay, so what does you that know? realistically stop? MBT I think has a nice bussy. It's like only Dodo, right? It stops Dodo. It also stops, I think, Roxy's from resolving. I might be wrong about that. Uh, oh, no, I think, I think you're right, nice because bussy. it has to draw in order to special. Um, so yeah, it does turn off Roxy's. If there is one place to draw, at least Boomer opened specifically place, because I don't think you can draw on any other thing. No, yeah, and I'm you're seeing, mistaken. like, kind of how weak it is here. Uh, Fancies gets to Foolish Burial Goods a card. So even though we can't, you know, search with Doodle Doe, we can activate Doodle Doe to put the Pandemonium back in hand and, like, get it the same way you would, like, reverse Lulu someone in Virtual World. Yeah. This is still, like, the exact... I mean, this is still just Battle Butler for two, plus follow-up. So, this is... Wait. Oh, wait, is it? I think you need another prank in hand, actually. So, uh, this may actually you be have only... To, you yeah. can only do two, but, you know, I yeah, imagine yeah, yeah. you've got another color in hand. Uh, Fancy is the draw here. Okay, so... It's either, uh... No, we're just going for it. Either, yeah, we're just going for it. We're gonna pandemonium for assumably rocket ride. Uh, it's dropsies and fa and lampsies, so we can trigger lampsies. We've already done dropsies this turn. Okay, so I'm wrong apparently. Uh, I mean, not surprising, but battle butler can hit the board in this case because you can go lampsies, summon a prank kit from deck. Oh, never mind. He's just going to opt for Roxy's. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, this may <clears throat> still be... Uh, actually don't know anymore. Yeah, this uh, is, this is kind of strange. Uh, we're using Roxy's here to get... What? Um, Doodle Doe plus... What is the end board here? Plus Fancies? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. There's got to be a... Yeah, there's got to be a way to end on... Uh, like, maybe you just go Dodo, grab Pandemonium plus uh, one of the two, and then you make Bow Wow. And then well, you Dodal Doe's that. effect is a hard once per turn. So we've already used it to get the Pandemonium uh, in hand the first time. Oh, you're right. Oh, I have no clue what uh, Boomer's going to do in that case. I thought Bow Wow maybe was Boomer good, did. but making Bow Wow doesn't even, like, float off of these prank kids. Like, are they trying to make, yeah. like, Rip Roarin' or something? I really don't understand. Um maybe he uh, i feel even, like if you were to even make like a verte because we're already locked all right bow wow it is yeah all right so we're gonna see bow wow maybe yeah two pandemonium nope oh man that's no thinker. yeah you're right just uh just a pass okay that well, sucks uh there's the lost world good luck all right <laughs> lost world ov time baby let's go let's see the ov <laughs> You know, Lost World Ovi Man. only works if you draw the Ovi. So, chat, just so you're aware. Oh, wait, we hard drew Who miss? gives a fuck? One miscellaneous source, three games in a row. You know what? Is it actually even limited at all? And, I damn, that's not Ovi. Unlucky. I was going to say, uh, the nice, I so I was playing in the x earlier, and there's just, like, a ton of dinosaur because, like, it's the last weekend for it, right? Right, right, right. Uh, and I was going to say, like, Man, I'm so excited to not have to play against uh, Lost World Misc OV hands. But, I mean, this is basically oh, yes, the same thing. Yes, you are. Thing. You're going to have to keep doing it. Yeah. Oh, man, it's just going to... All right, you Some ready for things the... never change. You ready for the hotness? Uh, Scrap Raptor is only okay going first because it's it's not actually super great at facilitating combo lines in Dinosaur. Going second, you're about to see... <laughs>
<laughs> this card is a little oh. bit better. Holy shit, and Gamma the oh Droll. God. This is over. This is so over. Game's over. Ash the Gamma. See what happens. Yeah. Oh, oh my Jesus. god. This is wow. This is just mega over. Well, sometimes like, you have it. Yeah. Oh, un wow, feels bad for Boomer. I feel so I mean, bad. They got so far. Going for wow, just no respect. Going oh, for Omega even, even playing Omega. He has a nice Dang. Honestly, I, I'm I don't know if they're shocked he has the extra deck room. I feel like that deck is is super extra deck tight now. But I guess Which, maybe not. Crazy Wizza's? Uh no, no, I mean uh Crazy Wizza, yeah. I, it I feels like uh yeah true oh we're gonna see nib uh okay so this is a really weird position uh this is the only scenario in which nib actually does something uh omega's pretty good what if it hits the nib okay it didn't uh omega's pretty good uh you to force out early but chimera does just summon back the scrap monster um yeah i mean it doesn't if uh raptor wasn't a dino then <laughs> um yeah. this deck doesn't work no exactly. um, no actually real all right so scrap wyvern <laughs> out now um let's see if we could assemble lethal through this uh we can trigger scrap wyvern unfortunately uh this is going to be real bad for our opponent because you can pop cards with scrap wyvern we're going to bring back the raptor uh we're going to send the raptor we're going to trigger the raptor we're going to trigger the wyverns oh did we not trigger the raptor oh because we already have the chimera in rotation oh what is he adding here uh, nothing. It's just not triggering the oh, raptor. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's no fourth. Okay. There's no uh, extra target. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So um, this is kind of weird. Like, where do you go from here, right? We don't have Ovi in rotation. Uh, we have one, two, two, two in grave for that card. Um, We don't really have a good way to pop a baby. Uh, I guess his... We maybe should have we, is... we maybe should have gone for the baby before we went for the scrap wyvern play, right? Because then instead of popping the Nibiru, we could pop the baby. I don't know. It's a hard one. Yeah. I guess Arco can pop Raptor. Um, Does that do anything get... for us? It gets Conductor, I guess, or like, I guess there could be a another Dino. Uh, that's kind of like, shitty, but I don't actually know how Prank It is going to beat Conductor. Yeah. Uh, they have to draw like specifically pandemonium mm -hmm. uh to if i'm not mistaken at least they have to draw like pandemonium to deal with this uh but we're gonna see i mean they could maybe just summon pank no they do go for conductor did wizzy use uh, yeah, lost world protect really for no raptor or what uh well the token wasn't tributed it was or it wasn't uh, destroyed it was tributed for nibiru all right, yeah. I mean, I don't know. This is decent, but if uh, Local Boomer is able to get back to their draw phase, it might be like a game. Yeah, I definitely think... <clears throat> really huh. feels like we were supposed to miscellaneous source for the baby before we went for the Scrap Wyvern effect, because then we'd be able to pop that and just go for Over Raptor, win the game from there. This is um, this is a hard one. I don't even know... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, oh. actually, you could have done that. You could have, um... Oh, that's clever. You could have gone... Oh, let's see here. Lost World to protect the Nibiru token. Uh, we ended up linking off the token for Wyvern, but maybe there was a line where we, like, trigger Scrap Ra Raptor targeting the Nibiru token and then protecting to send a baby to go into, uh, the boy. I actually think there's a world where you could have either left the token on board or gone for Misk earlier um to pop like a baby or something because there were two dinos in grave and another scrap name so maybe but oh ruler. my god all right that's, so boomer uh, is playing dark ruler that's interesting which, because dark ruler is only okay against this board uh you yeah. need to figure out wow that's actually crazy you need to figure out right. how to clean the board lost world procs on this are you fucking with me Oh my god! I hate this. God. I hate this game so much. That is unreal that that just triggered. Okay, so there's got to be a prank in hand. I'm pretty sure. Do we know a prank in hand? Because I think we're forgetting Omega did rip one. 
That's right, it did rip fancies. Ooh, that's right. That was the only one we had to confirm on, I believe. So if they're left without I a prank so. in hand, that's crazy. Oh my god. That gamma into omega is literally clutch right now. We're going for Hita oh. the fucking Earth Charmer. What, to bring back what? a uh scrap raptor? I guess this puts the token on the field it does get rid of the token uh you can get you the can chimera like... so you don't proc the uh the lost world here if you have another monster you can maybe like go in on an access code but that's a big if it's so okay there's, there's yeah the maybe useless you... uh fusion spell hand them up oh my god that really there really if it's is a prank, no prank then they win hand. but otherwise Jeez. There's is Omega going to do this? Are you fucking with me? Oh my god. Omega. What? I cannot believe that Omega was like okay. that insane there. So we get to permanently right, we... keep them off the uh the prank it in their hand if they want. Yeah, that set has to be like an imperm or something. Uh to really uh Well, imperm doesn't even do it provided you draw a dinosaur, right? Holy shit. Right. That, like that. Exactly like that, yeah. Wow. Dino DNA. Holy so smokes. We get to go for Ultimate Conductor here. That triggers the Lost World, forces the activation of the Imperm early because you can't target a monster while uh, you have a token on your side of the field, uh, which means even if it is Imperm, they have to fire it now targeting the Omega or the UCT, I guess, and then you have to... I, I, then you just die. You just die to the fucking UCT. Wow. Oh my. I, I physically cannot believe that just happened. That this this was such a crazy game. I mean, like the most minor detail mm -hmm. one with of this game. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. Uh, and you know, Chad is correct. Wizza had a ton of top decks to win. Pretty much any dinosaur did it. Um, but, uh, you know, so did Local Boomer. Any prank it did it the previous turn, and it just didn't come together. All right, we're going to wow. do the 1,000 here. Uh, just says, you know what, forget it. I'm not going to go for the Lost World. Let's just do the K and uh, get in with Omega. And uh, called by the grave, the last card set to banish the Scrap Wyvern. GG's says Local Boomer and Dinosaur with one copy of Miscellaneousaurus will be making it to top four. What an amazing set. Well, folks, it's been a long amount of games. We started today at 9.30 a.m., played seven rounds of Swiss, and now we are just two rounds away from crowning your next Chalice Line Monthly Victor. I am joined, as I have been for the last several rounds, by Blade Yago. Blade, how are you doing today? I may have neglected to tell Blade we're starting. All right, forget Blade Yu-Gi-Oh. We're doing this one solo until they're back from the bathroom or whatever. Now, chat, you wanted to see Tri Brigade versus Dinosaur, and I can respect that. And that's what we're going to be watching, because I will be dead in the ground before we have to watch the fucking trap card deck, Geist versus Paleozoic. I like Paleo. I don't like Paleo that much. All right. I am jumping you in right now. Crazy Wizza, who just had a crazy setup with Dinosaur versus Artemis, who has been taking names all day with a tried and true strategy, Tri Brigade. I'm very excited to see how this one turns out. All right, so it looks like we're beginning with the copy of Pot of Desires. That's something. Into a Nerval. That sucks. After all that drawing, we could only get to a Nerval. No big deal. We can send the Nerval to the graveyard, get ourselves a Keros, and fill up the graveyard that way. We'll trigger the effect of the Nerval by sending it to grave for a Link Rebo. And then we are going to add from deck to hand a copy of Keros. 
Chaos Effect. We're going to pitch a copy of DD Crow. That's rough. You really don't want to be pitching hand traps in order to fill your graveyard, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. MBT has a nice bussy. WC King Magic Ruler, thank you for the four. Had a lot of fun this month, MBT. This was my first visit to Top Cut. I'm glad my visit wasn't super short. Not bad for my first time playing the deck. Maybe I'll make finals once I figure out how to play Salad. True! And Rin, this is why no one will take us seriously. Kato cry. All right, Keck W. I'm back, everyone. Uh, you missed very I, little. Uh... Okay, thank God. Or potentially not thank God, since it's... uh. Snore Brigade. No. Uh, in all seriousness, actually, Tri Brigade's a pretty cool deck. Do you but, want uh, me to turn it I on mean, to the uh to the Altergeist Paleo match? I'll do it. I will turn this stream uh, around. Uh uh, not like this, chat. Uh someone help me. The key is somewhere in, in this household. Uh oh god, not like this. Um Okay, imagine we actually did that. That would be literal torture. Yes, absolutely true. Like, Going oh for Flood Jet here. I don't even want to imagine. This is rough. It's a pretty weak setup. Uh, we didn't have access to a Wind Monster, so we, we couldn't go into Simorg. I don't even know if the pure version is playing Simorg, honestly. We've got Rugal. <laughs> uh, Rugal is not good enough to win the game on its own. Yeah. There better be um, a Revolt back there. Wait. Did uh, Artemis even summon uh, Bear Broom? Uh, did not, no. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's probably a revolt back there then, right? Yeah. It has to be. All right, fossil uh, time. We're going to see... We're going to see miscellaneous. Woo! Four out of four so far. Let's go! And one of them was hard drawn, chat. Save yeah. that in mind. All right, so we're going to go for miscellaneous Horus. We'll activate Pot of Prosperity afterwards. Says, whatever, I just want the misc out of the deck, you know? Yeah. A little interesting that they opt to prosperity before. I guess maybe it's to play around like uh, oh! easiest prosperity of my life, buddy. Simply the best. God damn. You know, sometimes you just get owned. Sometimes you're just the greatest duelist who ever lived. Wait, they're thinking about Honestly. it? They already have the Ovi? Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh, what the heck? No. no, that's not what I oh like to god. see. Sorry, chat. Let me mute while I chew. My apologies. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll tell you who's eating good. Audible. The Cretaceous period, baby. Miss oh, Ovi. Oh god, yes. In the I mean, opener. We were never going to be a vegetarian when... uh. We could have raw meat. Come on down, Ovi Raptor. Wow, right. that was actually like a clever joke. Um, not funny, but clever. All right, Miscellaneous All right. runs into an Ash Blossom. Okay, get a little bit punished here. Yeah, this is not what you want to see right now. It's crazy, Wizza. No joke. Because now, I mean, assumably there's a revolt in the back row. I mean, I don't know what, like... We're trying to end have. main oh, here, uh, and we're going to follow it with a uh, Rugal to get the Keras. This one's a thinker. Uh, <laughs> going to the battle phase, not liking where this is going for Crazy Wizza. I think they may need a little bit of help. Yeah, this definitely ain't looking good. I mean, the fact that you have to go to battle phase clearly telegraphs there's nothing else uh, in the tank for Wizza this turn. And, uh... No, come on. I'm sorry. There is... There is no way that just happened. Oh, I... <laughs> I understand. Don't worry, I get it. I see what's happening here. There is... If, if a double evolution pill comes down... Crazy Wizza just has, like, the craziest brain. Nope. And yes, I unironically said... I was ready. I was like, that's a huge thing. punish for uh for even summoning the Keras, right? Because now there's a target. You yeah. can actually activate the ultimate conductor. You can pop the uh, baby in hand. Uh, but nope, nothing. All right, we're going to go for the Keras wow. first and foremost. Uh, pitching the Keras for the Keras. That's what you want to see. 
Oh, man. You know, I always forget you can do that. You can pitch a Kuras for a Kuras. All right, we're going for two. Here we I are. imagine this is going to be a Flaget, and if it's not, it's going to be a Wind Monster. Though I don't think they're even playing that bullshit. Oh, good. It's yeah, this guy. Or... It's my good friend, the ancient warrior Shigalog. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Double Dragon Lords attack. Oh, never mind. Here comes Shurig. Shurig's doing all the dirty work for uh, mm. the ancient warrior oak. All right, so that's 46, uh, but it is also not fantastic. Like, obviously, Double Dragon Lords is a really good piece of interaction, but it kind of falls for, like, Lost World Ovi. If they have the second Ovi, I'll be impressed. I just got to point something out. Was there unironically not a second, or, like, not oh, a, a revolt there? Are we dead here? Oh, never mind. Um, I honestly can't tell. I think that's enough, right? You no, need we're like just a little bit under. Yeah. I mean, what? Like, what? Uh, I guess Bear Broom's gonna hit the field. Uh, I'm still kind of, I'm a little shook at by this route. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter using Revolt there because now you can just go 17 to the face. Um, yeah. And maybe you have two Revolts. Just... Oh, that's also an option, yeah. Set one, not even going for the Fractal. I love it. All right, what do you got? Crazy Wizard, you got to have something. I would imagine. There's like six cards in hand. Come on, Crazy Wizard, you got this. They can't all be bad. Hmm, he says, hmm. 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 You know, I was going to try to mimic what you were doing with the thing, but uh, I I was eating at that moment, so uh, uh, good try, me. No, in all seriousness. um, Man. Okay, so, that's a good start. Yeah, that is actually a really good start. All right, and that's a good um, finish. Fantastic news. Wow, where's your Miscellaneousaurus now? Honestly, man, one more copy of Misk, and that would have been all she wrote. Ja, ja, ja. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to game two. Yep. A word? Why are we doing this? To put him at 100 life points. Okay. Assumably. I'm still with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What the? Is something going on here? I main what? God, if wizard. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, my God. Dude. All right. Not we like we had to get a we had to get a monster in the graveyard. I guess I mean, we must have banished the our Lee Carillo, play. right? I think so, yeah. I think, um, man, that play would have been so freaking cool, especially if Omirage actually did something here. Yeah. But nope, Gareg, uh, non target banishes, chat. So, uh, that's, that's about it. Yeah, uh, I guess we could win if we went. Verte Anaconda? Oh, nope. Revolt as well. Okay, that's uh, that's going to be it. We're going to go for Al Mirage. Okay, so this monster can't be destroyed by battle this turn. It would be really freaking cool if it wasn't for sure, Egg. Mm -hmm. Unlucky. Gosh darn. There's Rugal, and uh, there's the Shireg, and uh, there's the second game. This is such a bad... I, I feel like this is just such a bad matchup for Crazy Wizza. We do get to Ash here, but, like, this is the deck that's main decking DD Crow. You're on one Miscellaneousaurus. It has all these, like, non-targeting banishes against your idiotic Lost World setups. Uh, it seems like you kind of have to win game one, and uh, we are about to lose game one.
Jeez, come on. Completely unnecessary. Okay. Uh, let us go to game two. Chat, who do you think is winning this one? Chat says Dino. Well, I mean, you were wrong about Dino last time. Maybe uh, maybe this is the time that chat sees the light. Bird, it's, it's bird down. Yeah, no birds. Oh, shoot, my mic was muted. Okay, anyways. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, chat, can we get a caca? If you think Tri Brigade's gonna win, just like type that in chat. No biggie. Can we get like forty or fifty people to type "caca"? That would be fucking hilarious. I gotta be honest. Holy smokes! It's starting. All right, we here we go. Here cacaws. we go. Five out of five, chat. Oh my god, he actually hasn't. Correct. On Wait, one. double fossil dig. No troll. <laughs> Oh my god! I love Yu-Gi-Oh! What Yu -Oh. are the odds, chat? Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh is so god. good. You know, if, uh, if, if... Easy Wizza actually wins this tournament, it was just his tournament, I gotta be honest. Oh my god. Okay. Literally never whiff. Oh, okay. Actually, that's a pretty big deal. So we knew that there was the, um... We knew that there was the DD Crow. You can go for the Archosaur here, which we apparently drew. Oh my god. Holy smokes. Crazy Wizza is crazy with these draws. Pop the baby. If there's an Ash, we do actually lose. Oh my Oh my god, it resolved. I honestly thought there was gonna be an Ash there. Never were we ever gonna not <laughs> we're gonna get ashed here. Honestly, never punished. 0.0, .0 punish. So this is actually a little weird, right? Because what you want to do is use the miscellaneous source to get the animadorned archosaur, right? And then you can use your normal on a baby source that you had to hand off the over after you summon here. But we don't have that option. So how are we getting to the really powerful cards like Scrap Raptor? I don't know. Oh, that's true. We did need to use the normal summon. Yeah, I figured out how I we're getting to Scrap we're Raptor. I have I have located I scrap just raptor. The step. <laughs> well, there's a yeah, there's scrap raptor. We're gonna pop itself. Um, gotta search for enough. Oh, but good. like my question is, oh good, man, does this really get anywhere? <laughs> yeah. I... Oh. Oh my God! The second crow. You know, sometimes you're fucking cracked, dude. Sometimes you are fucking cracked. You know what would be good oh, here is Keystone. <laughs> what are you going in a wyvern <laughs> for? Like... What is wyvern gonna I... do? I don't know. I guess it puts another Dino in Grave Keck W. All right, uh, Wyvern time. Let's go get Scrap Raptor and pop the Wyvern. <laughs> we oh, do have Kista! <laughs> oh. Oh, Woo! my God, dude. It's your boy, Keith Stone. <laughs> Show me the Nat Beast. Ah! Wait, it's Nat Beast pass. Oh, my God. This is not Man, good. Keystone, this is not enough. If Keystone is, like, unironically a three of in Crazy Wiz's list, that'd be hilarious. Oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> wait, it's getting wait. to add back to hand again. Wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. This is actually not terrible. <laughs> I cannot believe this man has played through two hand traps. I was, yeah, I, I had the exact same thought process, Halios. She says, Nat Beast Pass does nothing to Tri Brigade. Pause. Okay, maybe Nat Beast UCT does. <laughs> I mean, Artemis has to, like, draw a Tri like, two Tri Brigades and a Kuras. And one of the Tri Brigades has to be, like, a Fractal app or something. It's got to be Keras plus Tri Brigade, yeah. 
Oh my god. There is one All of them. Right, well, there's Ooh. a kid. Do you think you just do you just gun it? I kind of I think you just gun it, honestly. It's it's oh hard god. for sure. There's two I here. I don't think Yeah. Oh wait, I, there I is two. Oh, you I have to. 100% yeah, you're you right. It. If they have Keras, they have Keras, whatever, dude. Honestly, you don't, you don't want him going yeah, kit into Al Mirage. Let's fucking go. Let's see the over after off the fucking top of the deck. Show me the over after. There's no way an Ovi just hits the field. Zero percent right chance. I guess I'm just better, says Crazy Wizza. Easiest <laughs> fucking game oh, of my, my life. God. Easiest fucking game of my life. <laughs> <laughs> no I, way! I'm <laughs> simply too fucking cracked. Oh my this god. Yeah, is you get crazy. Why not? What? <laughs> this is Crazy Wizza's tournament. Oh this my god. Oh my god. So There's if Crazy Wizza. My god, and Misk was shoveled back! Yeah, we go we go Misk for uh baby Sarasaurus here. We could over after to swap the babies. This is fucking over. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Holy this shit. War uh, Charizard, thank you for the thousand. You see, Wizza was on a routine dig for dinosaur fossils, and a landslide broke out and nearly broke his leg in two. So they used the dinosaur bone he found to save his leg. Ever since, he's had what they call dino DNA. The doctors say it makes him stronger than the average Joe. I bet Artemis' name is literally fucking Joe, because <laughs> holy shit. This is the Joe. Wait, Honestly, can this pop a card you control? That's crazy. Honestly, uh, Joseph, I can't believe you allow such, uh, <laughs> like, inappropriate things in your tournament. I mean, this is, uh, like, you literally allow stacking. This in is your so tournament. fucking Come stupid. On. I can't believe how dumb this is. <laughs> this is so unreal. Oh my god. What do we even do here? We can, like, make Dolka. That's pretty good. <laughs> no. Oh my. Wait, no, wait, we, no, wait, we wait, already, wait, we've already wait. seen it. You're telling me this fucker the, is no! on more? No. no! <laughs> oh. Zero percent okay. chance is that the play? No fucking way. We have to go Link Karibo here into. Oh no, we're going Lambda. Cool. Lambda All right, into. Well, we at least... If there is, okay, well that's game. But if there is like. Even any like con uh like consolences about this, we know there's not a gamma in hand. Yeah. W. This is uh this is the end. We just have to attack with the fucking uh the giant rex first, right? If there is an end of main phase nib, I w okay. Never mind. That shit would have been so funny. It wouldn't even do anything. It would just get the beast. Uh, kit kit's oh, pretty good true. here. You get to send the uh. The, oh, it sent Fractal. Said, I don't, I don't want to waste my time clicking. <laughs> you know. Oh, my God. I uh, I love Dinosaur, you know. It's <laughs> simply the greatest deck. Oh Keystone coming in clutch. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, here it is. Uh, dinosaur is going to have to win a game on the draw, something that Dinosaur has never done. You know, they, they're constantly struggling to win games where they go first. That's what I've already said. Really? Oh my god, I still can't get over that. That was so unreal. Very stupid. Alright, so unfortunately, Nat Beast uh, does not do anything against this deck. They're just playing it to play it. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. What a, what a silly game. Walter, wonder if Altergeist versus Paleo have finished game one. I know that they are they are still playing. Oh, shit. No surprise there, honestly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> MBT has a nice bussy. Uh, Hicks Fran, thank you for the subscription. Chat, I gotta be honest. I thought Dino was losing game two. Um, well, I think they're but... losing game three. I think I feel pretty confident about it. You know what? I have faith in Crazy Wizza. He's gonna draw like red reboot. Whoa! Or some they shit. made Dino go first. Oh my god! No! Don't you dare activate Misk. 
There's no way. Six games out of six. Yo! <laughs> This is. Are they playing pre ban list? Is what the fuck is going on here? How do you do that? <laughs> I mean, this isn't even the first time this shit has happened. Literally, Ash top this eight. Fucking shit. They Ash lead it. with what? Okay, okay, come on now. There's got to be an Ash here. Gamma. Literally fucking anything. Come on, Artemis. I'm rooting for you. It's Fuck not, this crazy wizard It's not guy. even a consistency hit. They're gonna find Misk turn one. You just gotta be ready. I mean, chat, this is nope. literal proof. I mean... <laughs> it, has, it has a result. Oh! Oh! My god. Uh... You know what? Actually, Artemis may be holding the ash for the baby in grave. Which, if so, props to you, Artemis. Bad, yeah. I bet you wizard 1 million percent has a fucking, uh... Easy oh, it's an hit. imper... Ooh, that's interesting. That's an early ass infip. I don't uh, think you... that does anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, um <laughs> Hmm. So, like Misk was activated. Uh huh. I'm a little I'm <laughs> Do we actually get to type it? Do we actually get to type it? Have you read the Misk? That is th Oh my god, this is literally a have you read misc moment. What the fuck? Average non misc reader. Apparently Artemis hasn't read misc. What the fuck? This card has been recently limited. Oh wait. If you haven't <laughs> wait, wait, it sucked anyway. What the fuck? What? That that was the play? How could that have been the play? At minimum we could go for the uh don't worry mind games. <laughs> oh, sick Artemis! Oh my god! I, uh, oh, this worry, is, maybe, this is, is this what it looks like when, like, uh, Gohan tries to watch, like, Vegeta and Goku fight, and he's like, what? I can't see anything! It's like, they're moving at speeds you can't comprehend. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's literally right now like i mean they must be both playing four dimensional chess and we're just the pawns at minimum right at minimum you would go like link haribo secure gardena pill uct because then you force them to have the chaos right i mean i think the reason the wizza has gamma in hand that's like the only reason i could right? see that's this, gotta right? be it or like Nibiru, it's could be Nibiru. Nibiru against this deck is so yeah. scuffed, though. MBT has Honestly, a nice Honestly, yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know. Snes I don't like Nibiru. He could be playing Almirage and not Nibiru or not Link Haribo. Well, it's fine. You, can you make Almirage Wait, with a uh, or Secure Gardener with Almirage? Wait, didn't we see a Link Haribo earlier? I feel like we did. We we saw a Secure Gardener. How else you make? Yeah, Kurass? we saw All Mirage as well, so we're gonna see Kuras. All right, that's that's a Gamma in hand, right? I I I feel like it would have to be. I it could be a could be a Nibiru, could be a Gamma. Well, like a Lancia, you you would have had to activate the Lancia before now, right? <clears throat> Going yeah. for three. This is a tasty fucking Gamma. Nope, nothing. Oh my god, it resolves. I li I have I am at a loss for words. What the fuck is the play? What? It's That's shocked. just like the easiest gamma of our lot. Shrike. Oh. So if you wanted to use gamma, it's too late you have, for you that. You missed your opportunity. Um. Normal kit. Normal kit. Kit for like two. Make the guy. Um, so the, the, the punish here is yeah. Nibiru. And this is a pretty sick Nibiru, but, you know, even But, like, so... even then, like, Shurig is, like... I feel like the point Shurig hit the board is the moment it's too late to nib. Yeah. Because now Artemis just gets a follow-up. Um, Can someone check, has Crazy but... Wizza bet channel points on Tri-Brigade? Ooh, Havarsreg? We're just going for lethal now? I guess this does do it. You know what's interesting? Oh if... no, we've got two. What the fuck? Oh, no. Wait. Wait, there isn't even a double E, but what the what what is happening? 
There's a double what? in hand. No, I know, but there's no like non-dino in grave. Yeah, you like, would I mean, to, you would have to go Archosaur into Linkaribo into Secure Gardener. Oh my god. I I like there's not even a follow-up double Evo. It's okay, just like uh, you didn't is, even do it. Oh. It is now too late to Nibiru. <laughs> it is too late to do any hand trap now. Man, we're not we're not god dead. Damn. We're not dead, yeah. If it's um, Lost World a... normal summon, we're we're still pretty good. In fact, if it's a if it's like any non-dino, we're kinda in there. Yeah. You know this what? Is, this is strange. Maybe, maybe he cut his fucking Link Karibo no. for the Gal Granite play. You would never cut Link Karibo. Like, isn't Keystone a one? It makes Link Karibo better, right? Yeah. It does. <laughs> not like this, Wizza. Not like this. Oh. Like, Betting on God, no OTK is... to crack back with UCT? Well, good luck doing it with the fucking Link Karibo on board, right? Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. Link Karibo just even denies a UCT <laughs> to pack over. All right, let's see what the uh, the hand right. looks like. And I would imagine there's a Lost World in it, right? You don't brick like this. It'd be like, oh, so there, there was a really UCT. Is... Yeah, there is a UCT. Trigger Giant Rex giant here to Rex. contest the Link Karibo. I, that's just going to eat I think you have to make that. Yeah. Yeah, you go pretty low from like the 27, but you're giving them the Link Karibo play otherwise, right? He does yeah. not play Link Karibo, just so you know. What the oh, fuck? Not Shut up, that's like not this. true. Oh, this is pretty stellar, actually. So this procs the Link Karibo. Oh, this is really good, actually. You cleared the board, mm -hmm. um, and now, like, worst case, you just have a Petite. And, I mean, I guess now you can even all Mirage if you want to do that, but I think you just leave Petite on board. You can leave Petite, um, and then Petite floats into uh, Pancratops when you need oh. it to. Oh, that's also true, yeah. So, their first summon, you book with Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and their second summon, you just pop with Pancratops. If somehow Crazy Wizza wins this, I'm going to, like, flip my shit. I'm gonna go crazy. <clears throat> I'm literally going to return to Monke and activate Miss. I'm interested in seeing what the uh, what the second main phase looks like. If they just pass here, it'll be just extremely funny. <laughs> that would actually like. Oh man! You know, you know what actually sucks is that this is the worst fucking board I've ever seen in my life. I think Dino is favored here slightly. I think Dino is unironically That's a little bad. favored here. Unironically, Book of Moon is about to win top four. I seriously think, like, pass on this board might be better than committing to anything. Oh, chat, you were talking all that shit about the other match. Well, guess what? It's over. And Altergeist will be what? moving to finals. What? <laughs> I feel really it... bad. Paleo's not going to make it into the VOD, but uh, that deck was sick. Yeah, that deck was pretty cool. All right, stream exclusive deck profile coming. Oh, no, anyways. Um. Wow. Why would? Oh you my make God, Almar he actually here? is going all mirage. Why would you make Almar? I guess here? he's going for double conductor. Uh, but like, what does that do for you exactly? I don't. There's got to be another baby in hand, maybe. If there's another bit, that's. <laughs> Says, why would I rely on Petit Tyranidon to do it? I'm just fucking doing it. Let's go. Oh, not like this. I don't know. How bad is this, really? I feel like it's still fine. Oh, no. Honestly, this is probably just OTK. I mean, knowing Wizza, he's got the heart of the cards on his side. So he's going to top deck uh, Ovi, right? Okay. There's uh, who Fractal. needs follow up when you know your draw? Let's be real. Can't here. do shit about Fractal. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Hmm. Kit into so, Nerval into Keras. Okay, so the Keras I mean, comes down, we it. flip it with UCT. The next one comes down, we kill it with Pankertops, right? That's the setup. Yep, I mean... We still have to find point, Lethal yeah. from that position. That's not the end of the game. The fucking... <laughs> it doesn't work. 
Oh my god. All right, god. fractal. We I... gotta we gotta do something here, right? We can't let it resolve. Yeah, UCT pop the secure gardener. If it's a baby in hand, this is the most big brain play in history. Nope. Do we oh, have wait, a Keros what? already? We've seen zero Keros. We've seen one Keros. There's no way they're only on one. They would add the Keros off the kit for sure. What on earth could the rest of the hand be that they don't have that? End phase. Oh my god, they don't have... End phase. It's not the end of the game. We still need a fucking monster. Oh my god, Joseph, don't say is that. He's about to summon Ovi. Tell, Tell me it's Ovi. Tell me it's Ovi in He's hand. He's about to normal Tell summon Ovi. Ovi. There's no way. He had such a good there's... line last time if it wasn't Ovi in hand. He had to draw there's... it off the top. There's, there's no way. no way. Just any monster does it, though. There's no... Wow. Ooh, that okay. is, uh, that's rough. Going for three I was here? really hoping that was going to be OB. I'm going to be honest. That would have been hilarious. So the game's not over. Gamma, gamma UCT, Gamma. Should have done six, idiot. Why the fuck would you do three? Oh my. That's just. Wow. Took Gamma, all right. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, we just attack I, directly, I, right? We attack with Tyranno, attack with Pank, and we go, we will try this again next turn, buddy. Yeah, attack for 36. Next turn, it's a uh, game if Artemis doesn't have anything. It's not even... Oh, wait, no! It's oh, 13, oh, no, yeah. damage is half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he needed to find Ovi off that, and then he could have OTK'd through Prosperity, but, you know, not now. Yeah. 500, very funny. How are we doing on time All chat? Right. All right, Artemis, can we please get the punish? Can you please fucking draw revolt? There is no way Crazy deserves to win, but God, it would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, it would be so win. funny. <laughs> it would be so <laughs> fucking funny. Link them off for Lambda. Shut the fuck up. God. All right, come on, Artemis. Here it is. It. Here it is. A pang of his own? My hope. Maybe. Oh, Jesus Christ. No Ash. Five no cards. Ash. You just have to beat two monsters. One of them doesn't even destroy. It's Book of Moon plus Dryden. Please, could that be a revolt? One fucking time. Oh, my God. One time for the literal one time. If Wizza wins, I have to send the DNA message again. Don't go broke, War Charizard. Bad. You don't need to do it for crazy. Pank that out. motherfucker! Pank it! Thank you! Waking the dragon, one time. Oh one Gamma! Time. Gamma oh, the one time. oh my god, he did have the Gamma! We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, didn't, wait, did they not banish the fucking driver? Never banish the driver. Never banish the driver. Never banish the driver. Never banish the driver. Oh my god. Alright, chat, what we've right. learned. Is it Revolt? Let's find out. Alright, chat, what we've learned today is you never get punished off desires. But, like, <laughs> oh my... There's... If that's a normal summon OV now, out of literal all times, yeah, please, yeah, yeah. crazy, don't you dare. Actually, please dare, but all don't right, going you for dare. It. He's calling the bluff. Says, that's not Revolt. That's not Revolt. Is it? Oh, it is! <laughs> e easiest, easiest fucking revolt of my life. Bra says, "Crazy Wizza, Crazy Wizza, you have, <laughs> you've had every opportunity you... to take this game." Crazy, don't you even bra us right now? <laughs> bra, uh, we bra. saw you top Wait, deck the Obi the one time. What are we fucking at <laughs> the arrival cybersing? Oh my god, he's going for Shureg, uh, Yeah, of course. Effect. We're gonna banish the Ovi. And then, yeah. Oh my god. How are there still targets in the deck? There can't be. Nerval for like what? A... It's what the heck. And Shreg? Well, we have the sure. Keros. We did have the Keros. We just elected not to find the Keros. We had two Keroses. <laughs> Neither of them got Keros. fucking sent. Oh While God. you did not win this game, you did learn a valuable lesson. Oh my God. 
double levo pill. Yeah, okay. All right. I guess that that's sure. on it. What do we have? Another fucking UCT? You know the gamma in hand. If you add, okay, no, 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 we're good. So like, it just doesn't matter. I mean, there's double Karas in hand. No, it matters. We're gonna because you can only special Karas when we pitch the fucking Karas. We go oh, for Karas. Okay, yeah, that's they're gonna really trigger right. Shrag. Oh, no! Yeah, I trigger Shrag. And then you OV or conductor pop so itself. He, yeah, so unfortunately, Shrag uh, does care. So uh, they'll have to banish one of their own cards. Thankfully, they have the tanky, so that one's pretty easy. Oh, no, they went with the Keras. All right, let's see that normal Nor summon, baby. Bro, let's see the normal. Monster anything. fucking ah! reborn. Oh, my God. We have All done right, it. That's... We've done it, Chad. We've done it. We've vanquished Crazy Wizza. Bell, even, let's see Bell. Not even Bro. Crazy Wizza. I'm sorry, this was not your tournament, it seems. But god damn, was you that did not crazy... win this round, but you did learn a valuable lesson. <laughs> Don't play dinosaur, do not with... overextend. Oh, that's also true. Oh my god, dude. And one other thing. Don't cut Link Karibo! <laughs> I love oh that they were... For the record, I do not run Link Karibo. Don't worry, Crazy Wiz Up. We know! Master. We know! Oh my god. And the top deck was god. Driver. Good. Good. <laughs> Oh my god. We needed to play gr should have gamma the misc turn 1. I don't know, buddy. I think you were fine. Honestly, uh, with a or uh Artemis, it, it turned out okay in the end. Oh my god. Had to whiff eventually. Good riddance. <laughs> no, I'm capping. Uh, good run though, with uh, honestly. See? That was <laughs> that was quite an entertaining run. You see, Wizza was on a routine dig for dinosaur fossils when he learned to never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, Tri Brigade versus Altergeist. They're really looking at each other for a while. What round are we on? Finals. <laughs> oh my god. That was that was really something. Well, folks. This is it. The final round of the June 2021 Chalice Slime Monthly. It's so late in the day, I'm getting these mafia lines over my head. We've played a lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh here today. And now we are ready for the final. The final round is going to be between Altergeist. That's right. Altergeist in the year of our Lord 2021. And Tri Brigade Pure. Over the course of this tournament, we've seen Salaman Great, we've seen Prank Kids, we've seen Phantom Knight, Ad Emancipator, Dinosaur, Synchro Eldlich, Paleozoic, Virtual World, Zodiac. It all comes down to this a deck from 2017 versus a deck from 2021. Can we finally break past the end of history and the last top deck? Commentating this historic match with me is the bald one himself blade yukio how are you feeling today pretty fucking bald not gonna lie um, oh yeah. <clears throat> i'm uh that last one took good. a lot out of me buddy that last one took a lot out of me <laughs> that was genuinely uh quite a match for the ages uh, honestly it wasn't as bad as i said it was it was quite entertaining that's all i got yeah, no. Um, unironically, uh, you know, you can see two players play perfectly against each other and uh, feel great. But sometimes what, what really drives the point home that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game is uh, watching two people uh, get flustered on stream and uh, make the worst plays you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, hopefully that won't be happening here. Raska is no stranger to Chow Slime Monthlies. They actually topped the last one as well. And Artemis mm -hmm. has played three Altergeists already. So they are absolutely ready to take down another. <sighs> Fair enough. Well, you know, I mean, 
Uh, I wouldn't say there's an experience factor, but who knows? Maybe the experience factor. Uh, I mean, this is going to be a good match. I, I think at least. I think it's going to be a good match. All right, I've let them know um, that I'm ready four times, and, and they refuse to start. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, start or else. We're going to get a double loss. We will have no winner, chat. We uh, end this in a split victory. And now everyone wins, except for Crazy Wizza, Keck W. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start. We're gonna start the uh, the betting way early, so we'll we'll turn it on, and you you all gotta go for it. All right, the final round is underway, and it is beginning with a tanky. So this is terrible news for Altergeist. Uh, Altergeist is an extremely competent deck. It's got a lot of uh, heads up plays. Kind of sucks ass at playing through established boards. Uh, Ash is a good start, but, uh, we haven't even committed to a normal summon yet. Yeah, so, I definitely agree. This is, uh, ooh, we see That's Kid. Rough. Actually, this may not be a as bad as we think it is. I mean, there's gotta be another tri-type, uh, to get off this, to special summon the Karas from hand. Mm -hmm. Because if there isn't another tri-type, this may actually be not as bad as we think it may. Mm -hmm. Um, because... There may just be no board to break. It's actually been um, in super sweet to watch, like, the evolution of uh, the Tri-Brigade deck. Uh, previously, you know, it was Bird Up, which was this long monstrosity that went into Zeus all the time and set up, like, big Floodgate monsters and lost to Nibiru. It's been really cool to watch that change to, all right, we're going to summon exactly four times in one turn, and our end board is, like, Rugal Pass, right? Um yeah. Cards like Bear Bloom that just get unbelievable advantage at all times have been instrumental in that. And uh, Tri Brigade Revolt, of course, is the uh, cornerstone to the whole thing. And there it is. Yeah, there's the Revolt right there. So we are going to see this board get established. I definitely agree with you, Joseph. This is not going to be an easy pill for guys to swallow. But you know what? Well, uh, if anyone can do it, it's the man who's in the finals. So... We'll see how this goes. So this is functionally not only Shrike, but it's a Shrike that plays through something like a Cosmic Cyclone. You can Revolt for all of your monsters back, then make Shrike. Then you have Rugal to trigger the strike, the Shrike whenever you want, instead of uh, against an empty board like the Geist player is sitting on. You know, it, it is a it is a really impressive setup, despite the fact that it looks very unassuming. Um... Crazy Wizard, thank you for the 100. I've learned three things. One, play Link Haribo. Two, if y'all remember the moron ban list, I lost to Bird Up then. History repeats itself. And three, MBT, you'll have to interview me if you want to know what replaced Link Haribo in the extra deck. We saw the Gallant Granite. Jack Mont and Shalud, thank you for the subscriptions as well. Man. <laughs> no, honestly, Wizza, you probably had the best run out of anyone. I mean, besides these two, since, you know, they're in the finals, but... Uh, honestly, it was a pleasure watching you as a no cap. So this is uh, this is cute. They're going to end of main here um, mm -hmm. in order to proc the revolt. Now, uh, revolt can be activated at any point, but it can only be activated with Rugal on field during the main phase, right? Because you want Rugal's effect to still be live. Um, so just seeing if they right. can get away with that right now. We might be using Shrike on summon just to banish one of these set cards, but uh, I don't know. War Charizard, thank yeah, you for 100. Honestly. Wizza, I'm sad you didn't learn the most important lesson. <laughs> and this is the part the of this deck end. that I hate. All these all these cards that you've banished, you can then just send back to the graveyard with Revolt, and you get to draw two cards by uh, activating the effect of uh, Nerval as well. Yeah, honestly, um, it's it's kind of disgusting how good Revolt is. And the fact that it's searchable just makes it all the much better. It's it, shocking uh, there was it, a time we weren't playing it, right? I know. The only time I think we were not playing it was with Bird Up. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, as the deck became even a little slower, Revolt just became, like, an immediate addition. Yeah. And, of course, Bear Bloom has helped things immensely. Yeah, definitely. All right, so uh, Bear Bloom... it's not procking the Shrike, we are still going for the Rugal here just to go for it. Uh, have more material on our side of the field. Right. Might as well, I suppose. Um. All right, so it looks like the uh, Banish the Spoofing wasn't that big of a deal because we have a second one. Ash would be killer here, as would Cosmic, but it looks like we've got neither. Doing this at the draw phase, so there's no uh, way to screw around with the Shrag. 
and the Rugal. Yeah. Although I believe Rugal is opponent's turn only anyway. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll go for multi-faker, trigger the effect of multi-faker. And I think our back is enough to the wall that we probably have to get Silquidius here. Yeah, I think so. I think we uh, we grab Silquidius. I'm not sure if uh, they want to do it during draw phase. It looks like they are, though, yeah, to deny are. the flow. Um, which makes sense, because otherwise that sure is going to get even more value. But the fact that they have access to Shurig again with any Tri-Brigade normal seems really strong in this game state. All right, so that set card has got to be pretty much exactly a Solemn Strike if they want any chance of making it out of this game. As is, the Seros yeah. uh, banishing four, going for Shrike again, and then hitting that set bad boy is kind of the end of the game. You maybe don't even go for four. I, I don't know what they went for there. It's Protocol. That is helpful, but maybe not even enough. Yeah, honestly, we haven't spent could, our normal. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. No, I think you're right. I mean, the body even gets to yeah. stick because of all mirage. That's what we're uh, which for is now. relevant. So yeah. the effect is going to be negated. Uh, we do still have one, two tri types in grave. We can go into Shrig if we want. Uh, we haven't activated Shrig, so we could use it to banish the spoofing. And then uh, I don't, I, I realistically don't know where you go from there if you're the uh, Altergeist player. You've got a multi-faker and one other card in hand. Yeah. Yep, we're going to see exactly what you said. Shurig is going to banish one. And we haven't even um, normaled. We've got four in Grave now, so if we like normal. Yep, a Tri-Brigade kit. Uh, we can just go for, uh, I think a Ray might be lethal. Code, right? No, it's not. Oh, oh. Um, hmm. Is there a way to establish lethal here? Uh, if not lethal, um, functionally the end of the game. I think they might be going for Rugal number two here. Uh, that was a three. Yeah. No, going and for Ray. And we do know they're playing. Oh, okay. We do know they're playing two Rugal from uh, the last match, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. We're going to Ray on the way to an access code. Yeah, it looks like that's what we're doing. Okay, so uh, that will be enough, right? Uh, three off of Ray. We get to trigger Kit as well. And uh, Roska's going to surrender. Let's go to game two. That looked pretty textbook. I don't really like Altergeist's chances, but I've been wrong before. Yeah, no, this is... I mean, this, especially losing the die roll was huge here. Mm -hmm. um, if they won the die roll, I feel like there's a real chance they could have made it out uh game one uh winning but it's just too close to say um and i mean the fact that they lost the die roll just made it that much worse um so yeah this is huge how's chat feeling about this Chat says 22% of you say Altergeist is going to win. Droll sixth card. Ooh, that's a rough one. Yeah, that's definitely a yikes. <laughs> Kale Dragon, terrible. I'm going to lose the house. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, better start. We get to start with the Pot of Prosperity. Going for six. God, seeing so many people go for three and then get massively punished has reminded me to never fucking go for three ever exactly it's a six or none card gosh darn uh looks like we're getting the none here ash blossom coming down in games two and three uh ashing the prosperity is not the worst thing you can pretty much rest assured that they're gonna find their sideboard hate after prosperity so sometimes you just gotta dip that problem in the bud yeah and at this wow. point as well if they don't have um oh my okay God. all right uh, okay maybe maybe we get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. there's got to be a faker there is not. <laughs> Gosh darn. Ash the, uh, Ash the Foolish Burial. Okay. Tanky. That's bad. Oh, God. This is really not looking good, chat. Uh, it's oh, gotta be what? Is. Called by? Solemn Strike. We're down to 25, baby. 
Oh my Please do God. not normal summon Keras. We can't beat that card. Set one, set two. Holy shit, Altergeist has made it through. Okay, now we need oh to actually God. establish a, a, a line. It all starts with a Melu Seek. So let's say the Melu Seek. Yeah, let's see if uh, this can actually happen here. The gods hate me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. Man. Like, ten turn clock, yeah, you know. Surprise twisted 538, yep. <sighs> so did I win the match? No, <laughs> you did not win the match. But you learned a valuable lesson. Holy shit, it's not even a trap card. Alright, anything but a monster and we're fine. Okay, okay, wait. Nine turns left. Do you tribute for the driver here? Normal oh. Baker. Oh my god. That was huge. <laughs> it was that, no, actually wait, it may not be. What the fuck was that huge for? What do you mean? <laughs> I, I thought it was No, no, because I thought there was a trap for some reason, but uh there there needs to be a trap. Yo, normal faker. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe it's not as crazy as I thought. No. <laughs> do you do you think we make Hextia after this? Just so it floats into something that's actually good. Um, I don't know. I feel like you just leave up the, uh, the Silquidus bounce, right? Yeah. And that way, uh, if they top deck a tri Brigade, you still have stuff, I guess. Honestly, not the worst. Uh, the, ideally there's like revolt set that are dead. I do like the idea that like they drew the multi-faker the turn after the solemn, uh, strike and the solemn judgment. Very silly. Do you have something? Says Artemis. Yeah. I mean, they have the multi-faker fractar uh-oh all right well we better hope those aren't revolts because uh <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of an issue yeah okay hear me out <laughs> do we bounce the normal i think we might wait for them to commit and like banish all their shit from their graveyard and then bounce the sun no that doesn't even play around revolt i'm just trying to talk myself out of a good play um hmm so this bounce makes things interesting but i really don't think it's the end of the world here mm -hmm. oh they're letting them go for it i don't know if i like that even yeah why can't chain hold down a I did. I have no idea. Uh, uh it said no, no effects. effects. Were you missing something? I think you're Oh wait, that is really weird. Okay, well we do get to bounce the Shrag here. Hmm. It was in FIP the whole time. This was uh -oh. this was never happening. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> oh man, that's unlucky. Uh, that is a rough one. <laughs> well, in turn, sixth card Baker? was D Shifter. Woo! Oh man, what? Oh my god! Oh, what what an epic oh, final? Oh what my a, god! What an epic Reddit moment of a final. <laughs> Honestly, after ro after the roller coaster that was top four, I was expecting more from this match. <laughs> you see, Artemis was on a routine dig for dinosaur fossils when a landslide hit, and they almost broke his leg, and they used his dinosaur fossil to save his leg, and now he has dino DNA. <laughs> Woo! That was um, that was a rough one.
Not going to lie. That, that was, was a little sussy. Not the finals I was expecting, that's for sure. Um, I mean, props to Alter Guys for making it this far. But yeah. Tri Brigade really showing that it's not 2019 anymore. It's 2021. Yep. My goodness. Wow, I'm glad we had a new deck actually win things. That's impressive. And congratulations Thank to all God. of our top cut. Uh